what happen if we write the code dash below. This will definitely raise an exception at the runtime. So, what is the solution? The solution to above problems is having generics in the programming code. Let us see how the above code is rewritten using generics. Let us analyze what has happened in the code. The declaration map contacts equal new hash map has now changed to map long string contacts equal new hash map long string. The former is called a raw map and the latter is an example of generic map. If we look at the declaration of the map and the hash map classes, we will find something similar to the following. Public interface map KV. The above declaration can be interpreted as map has two parametric types called k meaning key and v meaning value the name of the parametric types can be anything that doesn't matter these changes to map and all its related collection classes is there right from java 5 so whenever a client reference a map interface it cannot plainly do like the following map map object equal new hash map the compiler in java version 5 as soon as encountering this statement will issue a warning telling that the declaration of map is a raw type and its references should be parameterized since the declaration of the map interface is now parameterized with keys and values in the form of kv. The client reference, referencing the map should provide a suitable type for the parametric type going back to our code. Map long string contacts equal new hash map long string. We want the key for the map to be of type long and the value for the corresponding key to be of the type string. We also have parameterized the hash map class with long and string. Since the class declaration for hash map has also changed. Public class hash map kv implements map kv. The important thing, the usage of parametric types has not only affected map and hash map, but all the collection related classes and interfaces in the java.util package. In our code, contacts are made to populate in the map object by calling the map.put method. Now, the call to map dot entry set will return a set containing entries which is of type map dot entry. Now let us have a look over the map dot entry set method. Set map dot entry k v entry set. 
The return type of map.entry set is a set which is parameterized with map.entry. Map.entry is a class which will store an entry, which is nothing but a combination of key and value. Note that map.entry is again parameterized with k for key and v for value. In our case, the key is of type long and the value of type string. We have something like the following in the later part of the code. Set map.entry long string contact values equal contacts dot entry set. The same thing applies for iterator which is parameterized with map dot entry which is again parameterized with long and string. While traversing all the elements within the while loop we have statements like the following map dot entry long string and entry equal contact iterator dot next long number equal and entry dot get key string name equal and entry dot get value since we will know that the iterator is typed with map dot entry long string there is no need for an explicit type cast. Same is the case for map.getKey and map.getValue. Since the map has been parameterized with long and string, it is not possible to read types other than the defined types. So now, the following code will raise a compilation error. Contacts dot put new string new long l. So this ensures type safe programming and it prevents the cl client code from adding any wrong data type to the collection.